Hi, Stephanie Beck here, best-selling author of Social Misalignment, Social Trigger Points, and Small Business Trendsetters. We've had lots of great questions coming in, and this one was sent over to us and said, I have a PowerPoint and I have some slides in my PowerPoint. How can I create those into an image of a particular slide that I can upload onto Facebook? And it's a great question. A lot of people don't, but they're not tech savvy and um, they're not familiar with like Photoshop and some other things that you can do out there. So rather than rebuilding the whole thing, because who's got time for that? We're looking for quick, easy fixes, right? So here I have on my screen a PowerPoint presentation and I just picked, started off with this first slide and let's say that this is the slide I want. Now you could select any slide within your PowerPoint that you wanted to turn into a image that you can then upload onto Facebook. Okay, but I'm just going to keep it simple, go with this first one. So what I would do, recommend the quickest way, for me anyway, would be to hold down the control key, select the alt key, A-L-T key, hold that down, and then find the print screen button on your keyboard and select that. Okay, make sure your cursor is on this page. Next, what I do is I just use paint because it's quick, it's easy, and it is part of my off Microsoft Office. So I select the paste, and as you can see, it captured everything on that screen. Well, we don't need everything on that screen. We only want that slide. So here I would select the crop, um, the select key, put my cursor where I want to capture that particular portion, make sure that's all highlighted, then click the crop button, and now as you can see we have modified everything down to just the portion that I want to share. Now if you want to create, if there is some additional text that you want to put on here, if there's some shapes, if there's a if there's boxes that you wanted, like for instance, let's say that I wanted to draw a nice big box and I wanted to make it red, I can add some arrows on here, multiple arrows, you know, if I wanted to put in, add some text, I would click this little A up here and open up and add in any type of text. I want look at this dot 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 right whatever you want on here all right um, you could put a call to action if you're using this for a um, for a picture so you you can make all these changes at any time you just hit your backspace back you know your undo portion and you are you can remove anything that you add to it. You can also add additional images, different things, but anyway we're making this too complicated. Just <laughs> keep it simple. So here we have an image. The next thing that I like to do, especially if I'm going to upload it and be using it like Twitter for instance, there's a portion on in, in there's certain sizes within the Twitter feed that are that work better than others. Same with Facebook. With Facebook, your current new pixels as of today, 505 by 505. So I would go into my resize while I had the image open. I would select pixels and it would tell me that this is 723 by 547. So it's a rectangle. In order to fit that size, I would just change this to 505. It will automatically adjust the vertical for me, keeping it in the correct size without distorting the image itself. And now when you save it, you just collect you just select save as. It's going to give you an option to to save it as a JPEG or as a PNG. Um, my husband prefers PNG. I just typically collect, select JPEG, whatever your preferences are, but either one of these are your most common, PNG or JPEG, and you will save it to your documents, then you go back to Facebook, now you upload it just like you would a picture and it'll recognize it. So great question, thank you for asking. If you do have any other questions specific that you need answered, be sure to visit srbsolutions.net on our contact page and just go ahead and put them in there or 
post them on the Facebook page and I'll be sure to make you a quick video just like this on how to do those quick little fixes. So thanks for the question. Again, this is Stephanie with srbsolutions.net and I look forward to speaking with you soon. And in the meantime, keep it social.